Ready to bring your chords to life? When playing chord sheets or improvising, it's all about adding variety. Today, I'll show you two essential ways to make your chords sound dynamic and full. Whether you're just getting started or are an experienced piano player, these skills are for you. Let's dive in. To bring variety to your chords, you need to know two types of chords. The first one is block chords. The second is broken chords. So let's take a closer look. Block chords are chords where all of the notes in the chord are played at the same time. We're gonna look at a D major chord first. So let's build the major chord. We start with our root, which is D, and we need to go up four half steps, one, two, three, four, for a major third, so that's our third. And then we go up three more half steps to reach the fifth, so root, third, fifth. And to play a block chord, we play all of the notes at the same time. That's a block chord. Now let's build a minor chord and do a blocked minor chord. So we're gonna do a B minor chord, starting on B. So for a minor chord, we need to build a minor third, which is three half steps. And then we need four half steps to get to our fifth. So we have a root, a minor third, and a fifth. And to play this as a block chord, we play it all at once. So let's look at a simple chord progression with block chords. We're going to stay in the key of D and we're going to do a one, six, four, five chord progression. So in the key of D, that's going to be D major, B minor, G major, and A major. So let's look at how that's going to be with our chords. So here's our D major and then our B minor, our G major, and our A major. And you might recognize that chord progression. When you are playing block chords, it is essential that you press all of the notes down at the same time. That's what makes it a block chord. You wanna keep equal pressure on each finger so that you can play all of the notes at the same time. So let's add a little bit of left hand. We're gonna keep this very simple. And I'm also going to use some inversions in my right hand. What I played before was all root position chords. Now I'm going to use inversions. You can reference the videos that I'll link above and I'll link them in the show notes, all about creating and mastering inversions. So here we go, let's use a little bit of left hand. We're just going to block the right hand and hold root notes in the left hand. Here's our one chord, D. Six, which is B minor. Four, which is G major. Five, which is A major. Let's do it one more time. So that is block chords. Broken chords are where the notes are played one at a time. So we're gonna look at the same chords, D major and B minor, and let's see how they would go if we played them as broken chords. So here's our D major as a block chord. Now there's a couple of different ways we can do this as a broken chord. The first one is just one note at a time. Just that simple, the bottom, middle, and top, or you could go top, middle, bottom if you wanted to. But there's also some arpeggiated versions that we can use that make it a little more interesting. So let's try uh, three different types of arpeggiated broken chords. So here's the first one. We're going to go root, third, fifth, third, root, third, fifth, third. Okay, let me do that a little faster. playing even eighth notes all the way through and I'm just playing one note at a time. The second one is root, third, fifth, third, fifth, third, fifth. So we're going to be doing a lot of repeating in this one. And the last one is root, fifth, third, fifth, root, fifth, third, fifth.
Okay, so that is with D major. Let's do the same thing with our B minor chord that we used in our block chords. To do it as just a simple broken chord, we're gonna play one note at a time. Or we can go top to bottom. Now let's look at our three arpeggiated versions. So here's our first one. Here's our second one. And here's our third one. So that gives you a lot of variety in that. Let's look at the same chord progression that we did with the block chords and try out one of these arpeggiated versions. So we're gonna use the one in the middle, the root, third, fifth, third, fifth, third, fifth, third, okay? And I'm gonna do a similar progression with just left hand bass notes. Same chord progression, one, six, four, five, same key in the key of D, here we go. Starting with our one chord, which is D. One, which is D, six, which is B minor, four, which is G major, five, which is A major. Okay, so now let's do this with inversions. So we're gonna do it same way we did with the block chords. Okay, so that gives you a good amount of variety for the broken chords. What if we wanted to take this chord progression and use both broken and block chords at the same time? It could look something like this. Look at how much variety you have with just two types of chords, simple block chords and simple broken chords. Have a lot of fun experimenting with these, try them out, and I would love to hear from you how it's going. Being able to play broken chords and block chords elevates your chord playing skills. These chords bring life and variety to your chord sheets and your improvising. Before you know it, you will have mastered these two essential skills for your chord playing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to the channel and reach out with a comment. I love hearing from my audience. I'll see you in the next video.